Well, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, yeah. All righty. It's got a few things for you. I'm going to start off with celebrating our principles. This is October is National Principles Month. So please join me in thanking our amazing principals. Um, Unifor has the most dedicated and wonderful principals, and I want to personally thank them for all that they do every single day to ensure that our students feel seen and are learning in a safe environment. In their days, I'm like, wow, they've got it coming from everywhere. They have it from, from upper admin. They have they got to make sure they're taking care of themselves, taking care of our kids, taking care of our staff. So um, they have a lot on their plates, and um, you can see from the picture, they're smiling most days. So I just want to take the time really to say thank you and to let them know I appreciate them. And yeah, it's October is National Principal Month, but I appreciate them every day of every month. So let's give it up for our principals. Um, a lot of great things happening in Unit 4. Um, Centennial has a student that was selected to serve on the Illinois State Board of Education Student Advisory Council. So let's give a congratulations to Centennial Senior Jay Macedo, um, who was chosen to serve on the ISB um, Student Advisory Council. Um, Jay participation, um, Jay's participation will help drive policies and regulations that will improve learning outcomes and academic achievement for Illinois students. And Jay is one of 21 students chosen from across the state of Illinois to be a part of this amazing um, Student Advisory Council. So let's give it up for Jay. <laughs> Fabulous news here. Did you know? that out of the students in graduating the class of 2024, our high school students are nationally recognized by the, um, um, I'm sorry, the AP 2024 School Honor Roll. That's our advanced placement classes. Um, and so uh, Central High School received a silver um, designation and Centennial High School received the bronze designation. Um, the AP School Honor Roll recognizes schools whose AP or advanced placement um, programs have successfully motivated and academically prepared students for college um, success. The criteria um, reflect a commitment to increasing college going culture, providing opportunities for students to earn college credit and maximizing college readiness. So kudos to our students, to our teachers and to all of those who help make this a possibility. So we've got bronze at Centennial and silver at Central. Let's give it up for our schools and our students. Um, also, want to say congratulations to our News Gazette Teacher of the Week, Miss Amy Jenkins Costa. So let's give a shout out to her. She is Southside Reading Interventionist, um, and she was named this week's a teach, the Teacher of the Week by News Gazette. So let's give it up for Amy. <laughs> there we go. So we have some student athletes advanced in the Special Olympics tournament. We have two Unit 4 student athletes who participate in the Special, Olympic, Special Olympics uh, sectional bowling tournament this past weekend. So we want to say congratulations to Layla Walters at Bottenfield, um, and then also to Rory Gordon um, from STEM, Franklin STEM Academy. Um, and you can see her, she's got her, got the the, the bronze, I mean the medals right there for winning the gold medal. Both won gold medals. Um, and this moves their team on to comp compete at the state tournament in December. And we will definitely be cheering for them. And we just wanted to one more time say congratulations to our, our student athletes who advanced to the Special Olympics in bowling. Also, we want to shout out the Edison Comets as they won the regional championship. Um, the Edison baseball team added more hardware to the school trophy case. And so congratulations to the team and to the coaches. Way to go, Comets. Also, we have a Big 12 Conference gold medalist. Jack Baker placed 14th with a, a score of 80. 
Um, and so he has been named to the Big 12 All-Conference team. Way to go, Jack. Centennial student athlete. Congratulations to the Maroons volleyball team. They won second place in the tournament um, in the 2024 Metro Classic at Belleville East. Um, and kudos to Bridget Cassidy for earning all tournament and surpassing 1,000 digs for her career. So fabulous job. And I'm going to go ahead and put a plug in. Tomorrow evening is the Central Centennial um, volleyball game, uh -huh. and it's yeah, and it's the Go it's Pink. And I have my shirt that has both schools on it, so I don't have to choose. So I cheer for, for cheer for them both. So yeah. So if you can join us, I believe it's at seven o'clock tomorrow evening. Um, so yep. Yeah. So congratulations to the Maroons volleyball team. And we want to say congratulations to the Chargers girls cross country team on their third place finish at the Don Moy Invitational in Jacksonville. Um, third place, I, I, cross country, I, yeah, <laughs> that's fabulous. That's a lot of running. So congratulations to our Chargers. Um, Youth Literature Festival visits Unit 4. So sponsored by the Youth Literature Festival at UIUC, Unit 4 schools hosted nearly 40 authors who shared their work and experiences with our students. We are so grateful for these opportunities for our students to connect with the people writing the books that they are reading. So fabulous job. And that was believed last week. So you can see some of the pictures of, of, of the students and they're paying attention and they're excited about this. And so um, fabulous job. Thank you to the Youth Literature Festival and for our, to our schools for making time for this fabulous um, opportunity for our students. So great job. We want to say thank you to the men and women from the city of Champaign for showing up for our students and staff. Um, we appreciate you. This was a great example of the power of we. Great things are happening at Booker T. Washington STEM Academy. Um, real men read, real men and women read, and there's a picture of them there. And they went into the classrooms and spent time with the students um, and reading some books to them. And so the kids really enjoyed it. And you can see the smiles on their faces. They enjoyed it as well. So thank you. We have another U4 power moment, IPA student engagement. Um, IPA launched an, engage, an engaging program for sixth to eighth graders, inspired by the College and Career Readiness Department and our new PACE framework. Um, students began by using the School Links program to discover potential careers and celebrity matches like Dora the Explorer. Hmm. Um, <laughs> they participated in enrichment activities such as escape room challenges, budgeting um, um, for amusement park trips, and learning avid strategies. And the activities in include exploring national parks, animation, fitness planning, language games, Polymer um, science um, and music productions. And we're also introduced to clubs based on the students' feedback and the culinary arts club being popular as students grow vegetables um, for ratatouille. Um, and um, other options included science, Lego robotics, Dungeons and Dragons, chess, anime, knitting, bracelet making, sports and dance. Um, this program provides unique educational experiences, especially for those unable to join after school activities. So shout out for this U4 power moment. Great job, IPA, for your student engagement. And a century of south side school 1924 to 2024 everyone is invited all in all past and present members of the south side community to come and join and celebrate with us on october 24th at 5 30 to 7 30. there's going to be live music food trucks and artifact galleries self-guided tours um if you if you have an artifact that you want to lend um there's a uh, email address on there that you can send it to. We're going to keep this posted, so please or reach out to Southside and they can make sure they get it to the right person. Um, and so if you had something, let's, let's bring it in and let's celebrate it. A 100 years, wow, that's a long time. So looking forward to that. There's a few other upcoming events. So we've got parent-teacher conferences this week, um, October 10th and Friday, October 11th. So that means no school 
um, for our um, students. Um, fall break is uh, next week, October 14th through the 18th, so no schools for students or staff. Um, the Young Adult Program Open House is scheduled for October 24th from 4 to 6. There's a lot going on on October 24th, so just make the rounds. So you can go to Young Adult, open, uh, Young Adult Programs Open House on the 24th from 4 to 6. And that's a 402 North Randolph, Randolph and then you can um, go down the street and go to the Columbia Building, Rise Center, Ribbon Cutting, um, and that open house is also from 4 to 6. And then we already mentioned what was happening at Southside, the reunion, um, celebration. We also, um, there is the Disability Resource Expo, October 26th from 11 to 4 p.m. at the Marketplace Mall. Um, and then just as a reminder, even though there's no school for students, um, uh, next week we do have some slots still available for um, Kids Plus. And I, it's not, you can't see it on here, but, but I do have it on mine and we'll post it again. But there's a flyer um, that says, and it's $250, no additional copay. Um, and so there's a lots of activities, STEM and STEAM activities, arts and crafts, literacy activities, field trips. Um, there's a QR code here that you can um, scan. So the location is at Bottenfield Elementary School. So if you still need something to do for your child next week, and the hours are from 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., there still have some slots available for, for Kids Plus. Um, and then just want to remind everyone that we are still making sure that our students love school because it's where they, they see their friends. And so as we prepare for parent-teacher conferences later this week, please make sure that your child is in school every day, all day, every day. Attendance is one of the most powerful predictors of academic success and is vital in preparing students to become college, career, and life ready. And so... I want to say thank you. Um, and before I turn it over to you, we do have a visitor in the audience that I just kind of want to make sure everybody gets a chance to see. I've had an opportunity to speak with him on a couple occasions, but we have the one and only Dr. Dan Cates here who is, who is doing our special education audit. And so he's here. Just wanted you to stand and, and so everybody can see who you are. Some of, some of the board members have already spoken to him and introduced themselves to him, so we just wanted to say thank you. And he and I were together today um, with our special needs, special education um, teacher assistants, so um, it was a pleasure. So thank you for being here. All right, that's all I have. <laughs>